Hi everyone, it's Chris Day and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're not new, hi again. So this is my channel. I love doing everything DIYs. I like taking Dollar Tree items and making something with them. I also like doing thrift flips and I also absolutely love making wreaths. So today is all about the Menace Challenge. This one is about fall and Halloween, and what we do is we take crafts that are mini and we make some crafts with them. So this is hosted by Crafted by Corey, and I am going to have the link to her channel down below, plus I will have the playlist to everyone who is participating in the link down below as well. And if you like what you see, of course, I would love you to hit that red subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. I'm also on Instagram. Facebook, and Pinterest. So now let's get started with DIY number one. So the first DIY, I am taking these little cubes that you get in Crafter Square at the Dollar Tree, and I'm also taking this paper pad that I got last year at Michael's. Now this is not your traditional Halloween colors. I absolutely love these colors, these pastel colors. I just, they spoke to me and I absolutely love them. So we're gonna try those for a tear tray today with all my little minis. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my white Waverly chalk paint and I'm going to paint the top and the bottom of these cubes. I'm not going to paint the sides because we are going to be taking that scrapbook paper and we are going to be covering those sides with the scrapbook paper. So once those are all done, then I'm going to take my scrapbook paper and I had this one piece on there that said boo and I wanted to put that on the cube because each cube is going to have a little thing. So the first cube I did, I did ghosts on um, the four sides, different patterns, you know, of ghosts from the papers, from the paper pad. And then the other one I did spiders and then the other one I did um, was the pumpkins. So these are such pretty colors and I love to do something different than your ordinary orange and black and I mean I love those colors for Halloween of course but I wanted to do something a little different this year and I thought this was a really super cute idea. So then I took the little ghost that was on this one paper here and I'm going to cut her out. She is adorable and I'm going to put her on one of the sides as well. And then there was another one I used um, that was just had a bunch of ghosts on it. But now we're just going to go in and I'm going to use my Mod Podge and we're going to start sticking these down. So you can use your glue stick if you want. You don't have to use Mod Podge. I know some people don't like to use Mod Podge, but it doesn't bother me. And so that's what I used. And then I took this stripe paper and I'm going to put that on another side of the cube and then I'm going to put that spider and then there was this really cute paper inside there that had spider webs and they were foiled with um, there was some foiling on it and it was gold and it just accented the um, webs so nicely so I'm going to stick that on here as well. Now these spiders actually look cute because they have like flowers on them. I just think this paper pad was so cool. So different, but yes, so it was just so cool. So then we're gonna, this is the web one now that you're gonna see, and I don't know if you could tell on camera. Let's see. Yeah, you could see it a little bit, the web, but yeah, there is a web there and it is in gold foil. Super pretty. And then I go on to the next cube, of course, and the next cube, um, I believe I come in and do the, um, the ghosts. So I don't think I show me doing all of these. And then the other one is going to be the pumpkins, like I said. So there I put the boo and I put the um, little ghosts. And then I just kept going around each end. And then I had this pattern paper with all little ghosts on it. And the ghosts were cute too because they had um, flowers on them as well. Super cute. And then I went in with this little star paper that was pink super pretty and then I did the pumpkins and then next let me see did I come in oh no I'm showing you the pumpkins too okay so I did show you all of them oh my goodness I didn't even know I did that okay so now I'm doing the pumpkins and one was just a blue stripe paper and then I did a uh, two pattern two different pattern papers of the pumpkins and these pumpkins were super cute too and some of them had the gold file foil on them as well 
And then now we're going to get into the other stuff. So next I come in with my elephant gray chalk paint and I am going to take my little um, brush here from the Dollar Tree and I am just going to dry brush the corners of each cube. I'm going to go around all the edges and then I'm going to um, distress the top and the bottom with my little brush from the Dollar Tree. And what this does, it just brings out the cubes a little bit more, I think. Um, it gives it a little more definition so you could see it more. I don't know, see it better. I was going to say see it more better. That don't make sense. Um, and I just keep going around and then I dry brush the top and the bottom. Now, I did go a little heavy on some of it and what I did is I think I just um, came in with my sand brush, my Oh my God, I can't talk tonight, guys. I came in with my little sander and I just sanded um, some of it off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them together like this. I'm stacking them on top of each other and I'm just going to kind of stagger them. So I'm not going to have them straight. I'm just going to kind of have them like kitty corner like that. And I'm using Gorilla Glue Sticks. Wow, I got to start talking slower if we're going to get through this. Um... <laughs> And I just kind of staggered them like that and put them on top of each other. And there they are. Super cute for your tear tray, guys. And super easy, too. So there you go. So now, keeping up with this theme, we are going on to DIY number two. Now, this one is super simple. And all I did is I took three pumpkins. And these are all pastel colors, as you can tell. That's the theme we're going for. And um, I had these little leaves, but I didn't want them the colors that they were, and this is all I had left. So what I did is I took my elephant gray chalk paint and I just painted them. You could do this with anything, guys. You can just paint anything you want. You could paint leaves, you could paint flowers. I'm telling you, it's endless, endless possibilities. And then I came in with my dry brush and I just, um, with my brush and I dry brushed with my white Waverly chalk paint just to bring out those um, leaves a little bit more and then what I did is I stacked them on top of each other and I put some of that moss in between each pumpkin with a leaf and sorry but some of the footage got cut out but this was super easy and um, I just glued them on top of each other and we just kind of made a little stack of pumpkins to go on our tear tray super cute then I got this beaded garland from the Dollar Tree, and what I did is I just took my pencil and I made one of those little, I don't even know what you call these, but they're little curly cues that you see on pumpkins, and um, I just made a little spiral thing on my pencil, and then I'm just going to glue that to the top of my pumpkin. And that's it for this DIY. This was super simple and yet so cute. Look at that. So cute. So now on to DIY number three. And now these I did get from the Dollar Tree. I purchased the jack-o'-lantern. These are little boxes. Um, the, um, what is that, ghost and the skeleton. And what I did is I came in with my white chalk paint for the ghost and I, of course I painted this white. And I did everything. I did the inside as well because we're gonna put lights on the inside, those Dollar Tree lights that you saw in the beginning and I want the inside to be also finished so because you, you'll be able to see it with the light on. And the next one the, is the skeleton I did in the elephant gray chalk paint. And then um, the pumpkin, you'd think I would do it orange, but no, we're gonna keep with the color scheme and I'm going to come in with pink, which is the um, ballet slipper um, pink color by Waverly and we're going to color him pink. And I have, like I said, I do the inside, the outside, all of it, everything in between. I went in between the little grooves of the face so that you, it was like totally finished and looked done. And then I came in with the white chalk paint again and I went over the, I dry brushed over the skeleton's face and all around the edges and the back of it just the outside I did and I just dry brushed and this really made a cool effect I love love that worn rustic look that it brought to these and I think that it just gave it a little more definition and made it look super cool so I just dry brushed all of these and the um, 
ghost and the jack-o'-lantern I do in the elephant chalk paint. I didn't uh, do the white obviously on the ghost because you wouldn't be able to see it. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I just used the elephant gray paint on those ones and I just dry brushed. But this turned out super cool. I love the skeleton one. I think it just turned out really cool. And then I came in, like I said, with the elephant gray and I dry brushed these. And this, it just brings out it just makes them look like not so new. I don't know. I don't like new, new. I like things to look a little worn, a little rustic, a um, little farmhouse. Those are all the things that I like. So that's what I was going for with these. But I mean, you could color these any color you want and, um, you know, make it your own. You do you. Um, and yeah, aren't they cool? I love it. And then, of course, I did the same thing with the ghost with the elephant gray chalk paint and this turned out really nice too with the elephant gray on top I really like it it just brought it out more and just made it look really like Halloweenish I guess is what I'm trying to say and um and I did the sides and everything on that part too so like I said if you like what you're seeing I would love for you to hit that red subscribe button also, don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. And like I said, down below, I will have a link to the playlist for this challenge. And it will have everybody in there. So make sure you click on their channels and check them out. And don't forget to check out the host, Corey. I will have her channel down below. She is super awesome. She does great DIYs. So check her out as well. So now what I'm doing is I'm sticking in those little... Um, lights that I showed you in the beginning. These ones are pumpkins, of course, and I'm putting it in the pumpkin one. Look how cute that is. And I'm going to fasten this to the back with these Velcro little strips that I have here that I got from Dollar Tree. And um, I just Velcroed it to the back of the box. And you can't even see it when it's standing up. It's super cool. So I put the pumpkins in the pumpkins, and then I did the ghost ones in the ghost ones, and then the skeleton ones in the skeleton. So I kind of went with that order. But I mean, you could stick any lights in these that you want. I just happened to have them, and they just kind of coordinated perfectly. So that's what I used. So there's the ghost one. Super bright that one is. Look at that. <laughs> and then this one is the skeleton. And I did the same thing. I just fastened everything to the back. Super cool. So now on to DIY number four. Now don't worry, I will have a big reveal at the end of my tear tray. So you'll see everything again. So now this one, what is a tear tray without a book stack, guys, right? So they had this really cool striped paper in the paper pad. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to use these picks from the Dollar Tree. I'm using that wooden crate from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use some ribbon that I had in my stash. So what I did is I'm gonna use the ghost strip that was on this paper. I'm also gonna use the strip that says boo with the gold on it, that gold foil. So we're kinda of gonna keep the theme here, right guys? And then I also use the one that has Happy Halloween, I believe it says on it, and Trick or Treat or something like that. And I end up using that one as well. So those are the three that we're going to use on our book stack. And I love doing book stacks. They are so much fun, you guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with my white Waverly chalk paint. And you guessed it, I am going to paint the whole crate. Now, I didn't do the inside. I just did the outside because um, you're not going to see the inside, of course. And then I took my little strips and I just kind of bent them over so I knew where to cut them so that they would fit perfectly on my book stack. And after I cut them and trimmed them a little bit, uh, we're going to mod podge them on to the books, onto the crate, I mean, like so, and that's how they're going to go, and I think this turned out so cute, you guys, I love this little book stack, it just turned out super, super cute, so what I did, oh yeah, it says happy Halloween and boo, that's what it said, I couldn't remember, and then the other one says eek and boo, <laughs> okay, so I want to bring the lines out of the book, um, like in between those papers. So what I did is I came in with the elephant chalk paint. I used a very thin um, paintbrush, and I'm just like giving it in between the cracks. I'm just 
putting a little bit of that chalk paint just to give it a little more definition so you could see the actual cracks in the book. So it looks like a stack of books, in other words. So that's what I did there. And I did it on both sides because um, you will be able to see the back of this. So I wanted to make sure that it looked finish, finished. So I made sure I did it on both sides. Now I did also come in with my little finger sander and I did sand it a little bit to tone it down just a little. And, um, and then I also came in with my brush from the Dollar Tree and I just, um, of course, dry brushed the whole thing. Cause I wanted it to look like old books. I didn't want it to look new. Um, and I'm just kind of going with the same theme for everything. So I just dry brushed the um, elephant gray chalk paint all over the whole crate and I did the top as well and then of course I ran around the edges because I really like to show the edges I want them to be shown and look you know really good and then I just went in and dry brushed and then next we're gonna come in with the Mod Podge and we are going to Mod Podge those strips onto our little crate slash book case <laughs> book stack I was gonna say bookcase oh my gosh and once I see I came out with my sander and I kind of sanded it just to kind of smooth everything out and make it all kind of can you know look good together and um it really came out super nice so then I just went with my Mod Podge like I said and now we're gonna Mod Podge those on super simple and I did each one and I made sure it was on really good. I went over the top of this one as well with my Mod Podge just so that the paper doesn't curl up and it stays down real nice and sticks very well. And I try to do that with all of my, whenever I Mod Podge, I try to go over the top of things as well. You can also do it like on the top of your paints. When you paint something, it'll help it not to chip. So yeah, Mod Podge has many uses. I'm a plaid ambassador, so um, I love using um, these products on my DIYs. And then I'm gonna come in with the last one. I got a little too much Mod Podge on there, as you could tell. I was wiping it with my baby wipe. And then we're going to come in with this pumpkin right here that I took off of one of those picks and I'm just going to paint it pink and it didn't have a stem on this pumpkin but I do have a stem that I had left over from a previous project so I just took that stem and I just put a little hot glue on it and I stuck it on the top and there's my little pastel pink pumpkin then I came in with this gorgeous ribbon I love this ribbon you guys it is so pretty. I got this online. I can't even remember where, um, but it's super pretty. I'm gonna do a wreath with it too. And what I did is I just wrapped it around because on the side you could see the little holes from the crate. So this is gonna cover that up. So I just wrapped it around the ribbon and I covered those two little holes and I made sure I glued it really tight so it looks like there's a little band going around our books. And then I took this stem here from the Dollar Tree. Super pretty. It has these pink and um, like little pink flowers on there. And it's so realistic, this bush. I love it from the Dollar Tree. And then I made a little um, raffia bow. And I'm just going to glue all this down to the top of my book stack. Just to give it a little something extra and make it look a little pretty. And then I'm gonna take my pumpkin next and I'm going to um, glue that to the top as well. And that's gonna be it for this DIY. This one was super simple as well and super cute. I just love the way it turned out. Look how cute that is. I love it. Okay, so this one's really, really simple. So this is DIY number five. Now, I don't know why I showed you that in the beginning, but it kind of got mixed up here, So, but we're okay. It's DIY number five. So I took that little skeleton, and then I took that styrofoam little ball, and what I did is I cut it in half because we're gonna make it look like brains coming out of the skeleton's 
head. So these little skeletons come in a little bag at the Dollar Tree. That's where I got them. And so I just did the eyes black with my black paint marker. And then I took off that little um, hanger that's on it. And now I'm going to dry brush this to make it look grungy and dirty and just not cute. <laughs> I'm going to make it look Halloween-y. So we went in with Halloween-y. Um, we went in with some of this. I went in with some of this gray chalk paint again and I just dry brushed all over the little skeleton's head and then what I did is I came out my baby wipe and I kind of just smudged it I just wanted it to look dirty like he just came out of the ground that was the look I was going for so a little grungy look to our skeleton and then what I did is I came in with um after I get through wiping this I can't believe I showed you all this Okay, so then I wiped it. So then we're gonna come in with this Distress Oxide. Um, this is a pink one that I got, and it's just one of the sprays that I had. And what I did is I pre I painted spray painted the um, foam, half of the foam, styrofoam ball with that pink paint. And now I'm just going to glue that to the top of his little head. And they're just gonna look like his brains coming out of his head. <laughs> silly right but cute and simple I love it so on to DIY number six so I believe this is the last one yes it is so this is the witch I love this one so they had these little buckets and uh, the witch's pot at the Dollar Tree and of course I had to pick them up so what I'm gonna do is first I'm coming in I want to give it a galvanized look I want this to look like iron like real iron instead of plastic. So what I did is I came out my white Waverly chalk paint and I just dry brushed the whole thing. And then I came in with the um, elephant gray steel, I mean elephant gray paint and I just kind of dry brushed that over it. And I just kept going back and forth until I got the look that I wanted. And this really turned out super cool guys because it looked like it was really iron. It does not look like plastic when I got done. So I really love the way that turned out. And then I took this little witch's clip. These come in, a, I believe you get four of them in a pack or six, something like that, at Dollar Tree. And what I did is I'm going to color the bottom of the, the top of the pot, I should say, that has the witch's leg sticking out of it with my little paint markers. So I did her shoes black. I did her little leggings or tights, whatever you want to call them in pink and purple because those are the colors that we have going on and then um i did her little buckle in gold on her shoes now you're not going to see the pot part of this because we're going to cover it up in a minute you'll see what i'm going to do with it but we're going to stick this in here and it's just going to be like she's sticking out of the little pot just like on the little um piece that you see right here <laughs> and what I did is I had these little white styrofoam balls from Christmas last year and they have a little bit of glitter on them but you can't really tell and what I did is I stuck in a little bag from the store and I just stuffed it inside the pot and now I'm going to take some of these little balls and I'm going to start gluing them down and inside the pot and around the pot because it's going to like the bubbles like it's boiling over and the witch is sticking out of it and that's it I did for this one. It was super easy, you guys, yet so cute. And it looks so adorable on tear tray. I can't wait for you guys to see the actual tear tray now because it looks so cool. And the tear tray that I'm actually using, I got from the five, I got for $5 in the dollar spot at Target. So always go to those dollar spots at Target because you never know what you're going to find, you guys. And I really love this little tear tray. It is so, so cute. So I'm just taking them and I'm just gluing them and sticking them in like just the way I want them. Very simple. And it just looks like it's boiling over. And then I stuck a couple in the back too because you will see the back of this on the tear tray. So I wanted it to look finished and it just turned out so cute. I love all of these and they're just really different and I think it turned out super, super cool. There you go. Isn't it cute? I love it. So here is your tear tray guys and I even lit up my little boxes. Look how cute. Them little stack of books I got at the dollar spot 
to at Target and I stuck those on there. And the little ghost that does the different colors, that was from the Dollar Tree. And I have just stuck in some extra little pumpkins that I got and some velvet pumpkins. And look at how cute that tear tray is, guys. I love it. So I hope you guys like it. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And remember, stay crafty. Bye.